Hello, 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 everyone. I am early today. It is 9.50, but I was chilling here with Charles. <laughs> and um, I figured I would start a little early, because why not? I'm excited to play The Sims today. I'm excited to do probably nothing but play The Sims today. <laughs> um, that is the current plan, at the very least. I just feel like... Um, I went to the gym yesterday, late at night, and um, I think today I'm just going to chill and take it easy. Um, and we'll see how it goes, you know? <laughs> um, I don't really remember exactly where we left off at all. It's, apparently, I left off on Melody, which generally, to me, means that I looked at her needs, I was like, that's a problem for future butter and then uh ended the game so <laughs> we'll see if she's dying when we get in um she missed me apparently I, maybe that means she has low hunger you never know when a toddler i think she's gonna be a child today i don't remember when her birthday is i know jasper is gonna be a teen That's less important, though. No oh, Charles. Hello, Cozy! How you doing this afternoon? Welcome on in. Oh. We left off, like, feeding the toddler. 8.30 a.m. Everyone in the house is awake and feeling happy. I think this is the first. I think this is the first that I have logged on, and it has not been, uh, this was a problem for Future Butter. <laughs> you know, though? That might be a problem for, for right now, me. He works at three, and he is, like, tired. <laughs> and also still cooking. Um... Bianca's asleep, but you know what? She does not have to be. She wants to become focused and be mean to somebody. Hello, Theo. How are you doing this afternoon? Personally victimized by Filbert. What did he do? <laughs> I thought he was calmly watching his squirrel television. Which, by the way, is adorable. Um, and also, I noticed, is that a framed picture of Jerry on your bookshelf? I love it. <laughs> Um, so view that and then go get breakfast, Bianca. Not the pixel emotes. <laughs> Attacking legs again. Uh. <laughs> I zoomed in to see Filbert and then I noticed the picture and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> is that Jerry I spy? <laughs> uh, that's so cute. I love that. Um, no, that makes sense. Yeah, you gotta distract him from swinging at the legs. Some cats are really bad about that. I'm, like, really glad that Charles doesn't really... The thing that he does instead is if I'm petting him and I, like, go to pull my hand away, he will, like, try to stop me from pulling away. <laughs> and he has caught me a couple of times, um, really badly. But he doesn't, like, attack my legs ever, usually, which is nice. Frame photos of all the family pets. Oh, I love that. I should do that. <laughs> I don't even know if we have a framed photo of my dog at all. Um, we have photos of my old cats. They're not, like, framed or anything. I did, yeah. <laughs> it's only because I zoomed in to see Filbert, because I was like, oh, he's so cute. I need to see his little pink nose again. And then I, like, light next to him is Jerry, and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I know that cat. <laughs> I am also cuddling with my cat, Theo. You know, Charles is being very cuddly this morning. He's been a chiller. He actually let me sleep this morning. Sassy Jerry. <laughs> 821 on a Sunday, you're practicing typing? Beautiful. You're taking a shower. You're eating. 
and we set your interactions and your cooking, and then you're going to go to bed when you're done cooking. This is some strange music playing. It's funky though. She wants to chat with Connor. I don't think you can do that, Bianca. <laughs> it's starting to jump at them at night. Oh no. <laughs> the music was a little chaotic. I think that's why she woke up. That's what we'll pretend was the reason and not me. <laughs> I wonder what station that is. Hold on a minute. Let me find out. Listen to carnival beats. That would be why. It's supposed to feel a little like party vibes. Like, you know, things are happening. Things are shaking and grooving. <laughs> you have ADHD? Welcome on in, Twisted. Join the club. <laughs> Time is so weird for me. And I realized that recently. Uh, because of ADHD, like time blindness and time um, just unawareness really, really hits me sometimes. Um, and when I try to talk to people who are not ADHD about that, I realize how fucking weird I am about it. <laughs> Welcome on in, Roy. Thank you for the fart. <laughs> how you doing this afternoon? Bianca, would you like to... Oh, the laundry's not done yet. Okay. We should just let it play. Very playful. Marinated with love. We love to hear it. <laughs> I'm also doing pretty all right. I've had a nice kind of chill morning. Um, I've just been a little worried about the state of the U.S., but other than that, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having a nice relaxing morning where I don't have responsibilities at all. Like I went grocery shopping last night too cuz my um my plans with Spider got canceled cuz she was feeling a little sick. So I instead went and I got all of my grocery shopping done for the week. So I have nothing to do for the whole weekend so I can just chill. <laughs> I don't even really have to go to the gym if I don't want to, so I don't even know how much I'm leaving the house this weekend, frankly. It might be a nice just do nothing weekend for me. Um a party to go to. Ah. I got you, Twisted. Yeah. the I got a party at 7, which means I need to be ready at, at 6.30 to go there, which means I need to be ready to be ready to go at 6, which means I need to start getting ready at 5.30. <laughs> and it just goes back to, like, noon, and you're like, well, now I can't do anything because the next seven hours are booked. <laughs> I hate that. I literally once showed up an hour early to rehearsal because of just, like, how things worked in my brain. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. Um, had your graduation pictorial? Heck yeah, you're graduating? That's sick. I love that for you. Yeah, I need just a weekend of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week. I didn't get a weekend weekend last weekend. I need... I need a break. <laughs> and pet pics? Hold on one sec. Let me let me keep up with chat for a sec. <laughs> have to be ready to get ready. Currently ready at 2 p.m. Yeah. Well, make sure you're ready ready, you know? <laughs> you only got the five hours. <laughs> I'm making fun of you because I've been there, I swear. <laughs> End of June. Oh, I love that. Congrats. I, I never graduated from college. <laughs> um, all right, let me go look and pick pet, pet pics. Oh. <laughs> She's swatting. She's literally trying to catch the hands. <laughs> um, You're feeling very playful. Would you like to tickle the ivories? <laughs> <laughs> just eat your hand for no reason sometimes Charles will get in a mood sometimes where like if I touch him the wrong way he's just like no and like starts swatting at me 
most of the time he's like, yes, all of the attention, always any sort of pet, I'm there. But every once in a while, it's mostly down on this end. If I pet him the wrong way for too long and he's in a mood, he's just like, no, and starts swatting. <laughs> Uh, I don't think if I had graduated from college, I would have gone to, like, the ceremony from it, frankly. But that's mostly because, because I was in high school band and middle school band. The last two years of middle school and the first three years of high school, and technically also the fourth one, um, because I did still have to play for part of that. I had to play the graduations, um as part of the band so i attended six high school graduations in a row like six years of them and i'm done i'm done with graduation ceremonies i've done my time i've listened to the speeches i'm never again <laughs> if my mom graduates i might go to that one because i wouldn't miss my mom's graduation because she's in college right now but after that i am done if i don't have to attend it i'm never going <laughs> yeah it sucked cozy it was the worst with the people in your college, yeah. Oh. You didn't graduate with the people in your course? That's kind of weird. She's studying, um, what is it? Um, to be a social worker. It's, it's really nice. It's really cute. She's doing really well, too. She's getting, like, A's and stuff. She works hard. I love my mom. She's really smart and stuff. <laughs> really smart and caring. I really couldn't have asked for a better one, frankly. And she's doing that, like, while she's working, too. Did I just kind of lay that one down there? Okay, well. Long as, long as things are working decoration-wise. <laughs> Motor level eight, please. Yeah. Sometimes that's how it be. That was a hell of a theme song for the flea market. I was like, music? What the fuck is happening? This <laughs> is a theme mar flea market. Um, yeah, I only went to college for two, three years? I think I was entering my third year when I had to drop out. Um, but by the end of being there, there were not many people left that I enjoyed hanging out with, I'll, I will admit. <laughs> it is really hard to do, yeah. I, I love that she's able to do it and still, like, find, find time to, like... She still, like, reads books and stuff, you know, and does what she wants to do around it, too. I don't know how she finds the time, because I don't think I could go to school right now. <laughs> that's my last partner always said that I should go back to school and I was like with what fucking time like <laughs> you know so I I am amazed by my mom constantly yeah 23 days left of high school heck yeah twisted everyone's graduating holy cow <laughs> can do cozy I'll let her know I talk about you guys sometimes I don't know if she knows you like by name or anything um but I let her know about funny things that have happened in chat and everything. So she knows. She keeps up. <laughs> um, You're going to go watch Melody. Mm, watch her go to the bathroom? I don't think so. Le when is... Okay, she ages up in two days. You age up tomorrow. And Blake has like two weeks. Bianca has a week, and Vikram has, like, seven weeks. <laughs> Aw, you guys are sweet. I'll let her know. <laughs> um, The ten corgi bits. Thank you so much, Cozy. They are today. They're lazing around the house, you know? Um, There's, like, 
uh, there's a baby corgi in there um and two of the parents are reading and acting out a book for the corgi and the other ones are watching and chit chat and they're having a nice cozy saturday morning <laughs> For Butter's mom, I'll let her know. <laughs> she would love ten corgis, I bet. I'm I'm willing to bet that she would have a, a time with ten corgis. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you can watch the toddler go to the bathroom if that's like what you want to do. I guess. <laughs> you can also promise to dedicate songs to other Sims. I've never actually played any of these songs, really. I just always tickle the ivories. <laughs> She's very focused. Is she? Wait, can you teach the toddler to talk? Oh, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Hi, mom, person of the entry. <laughs> Say you 10 corgis for being amazing. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> she would roll with it, absolutely. <laughs> keeping up with the Kardashians is keeping up with Butter's chat. Sometimes it's been going off lately. Don't move the rug. What just happened there? What? <laughs> I didn't know I could move the rug in live mode. Where is she waddling off to now? What the hell? Can you finish teaching her to talk? Toddler care, right? No. Friendly? Small talk? <laughs> no. Um, gossip? Just gossiping with my toddler. <laughs> Teach to talk. There we go. That's the one. <laughs> then ten cor real life corgis show up. That would be amazing. Um, I don't think Charles would enjoy it. <laughs> I think he still struggles with the fact that there's a dog in the house sometimes. I think the part, that's part of why he, like, yowls in the basement. Bianca and Melody are strict. No. Melody's a toddler. Bianca doesn't care. <laughs> Jasper should come get some food. Oh my god, Vikram made this and then I never put it in the fridge. It's still good, thank god. Stream's not working for you? It might be me, hold on, let me, let me do a check. It does look like it's dropping every here and there, but it seems like it's alright right now. Um, it's not dropping like massively either. It just looks like it's having little like boop, boop every once in a while. Well, <sighs> refresh the page, Twisted. Sometimes that works. You can also, I think, sometimes if you change like the little latency settings, I think they're called, in the, the little like wheel on the bottom right of the screen i think it is i think sometimes that helps i've done that before i think <laughs> i don't know it's been a while since i've had like stream watching issues because i don't really watch streams that often okay um you should come babble to this guy. You're getting food. Bianca, you can maybe go back to making your video game? That'd be cool. Oh, especially because you're focused. That's the perfect time. And then you know what, Vikram? I think you've slept enough. You're doing alright on sleep and you like never get tired. Oh. Never mind. 
I was going to say you can do gardening, but he can't really do gardening. <laughs> that is um, not an option. So, he can do some DJing. Play some chill out music. Jasper, once you're done eating, you can go use the toilet. But don't bring the food like you did last time. That was weird. Who's calling Blake? <laughs> you know, I did say I, earlier that I kind of wanted to get Blake some friends. Um, oh, did I miss it? Oh. I wanted to go... I wanted to go to the flea market with Connor. <laughs> and now I can't, because I thought about it for too long. That's sad. You know what? I think we can still go. Hold on a minute. Yeah, that's better than spending Sunday at the house with everybody. Um, I think we'll just take Blake. We haven't played with just one of the kids so far, and he's the only teen. So let's go to the flea market with Blake. Oh, I'm so sorry, Charles. I have to shift your weight every once in a while. You are a heavy cat. <laughs> I love you, though. I love you. You are so cuddly. To the flea market. I think we got, like, a, a lamp or a chair here or something last time. Something like that. The waterside warble. I wonder if Connor will still be here. And we should have still come here with Vikram so he could steal stuff. That's a funky couch. Is that bird thing for sale? Buy flying origami crane lantern. Maybe. Is there nothing on these tables? Oh. I guess not, and then you can come see these ones. A faucet of light. I think I'm set on that. <laughs> it seems like there's nothing good here. Um, so let's focus on people. Is there any other teens? No. Welcome back, Twisted. We're trying to find um, any teens for Blake to get to know. Somebody for him to get to know, I guess. He could buy this flying crane lantern thing if we want. I don't know where I would put it if I did, though. And none of this furniture is all that cute. We got the dance skill. We buy some medals, maybe. Simtanium. What did you just buy? <laughs> We tipped him. <laughs> Who's Ignatio? Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can find a teen. We need to find someone for him to talk to if he's going to be here. <laughs> Allison Hammond? I don't think I have. Sophia Bergson. Bjergsen? Sophia Bjergsen. <laughs> Bjergsen. I don't know how to pronounce her last name at all. That She's the only other teen here. Let's introduce ourselves. <laughs> huh. 
introduces herself not facing her. We love to see it. Make a flirtatious joke right away. Oh my god. Oh, well, there she goes. Oh, Charles. I need to unbend one of my legs. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Oh, oh, she's feeling very flirty. It might, this might be it. Hold on a mo. Two minutes to watch it. I don't want to watch something else right now. I'm so sorry, Twisted. <laughs> I get distracted too easily these days. I haven't played The Sims in days. So I'm not going to watch something else right now. I don't want to get derailed. I'm sure, I'm sure Allison Hammond is an interesting case file, but I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Why won't he talk to Sophia very much? Don't just watch her performance. Do you think we know her well enough that we can travel with her now? <laughs> Tell her an unbelievable story while she's playing guitar. <laughs> Claim Sophia is an alien. Aliens aren't even in base game. She's feeling very, very flirty, but we haven't, like, flirted with her at all. We only did the one. Let's just do, let's just do a little flirt. Work for Vikram starts in an hour. Good, good, good. Let's promise to dedicate a song to her. Oh my god. Do you think that'll go well after having just met? Pickup line, maybe. Blow her a kiss while she's playing. He wants to eat food. Alright, well, you know what? We can order some food. Oh, some banh mi. I love banh mi. There used to be a really good Bon Me place near me, and now there's not, because they closed. Oh, Charles isn't on my lap anymore. I can actually unbed both of my legs. <laughs> it's kind of sad we didn't get to come here with Connor, though. That would have been nice. A little flea market shopping with your grandpa. <laughs> Is there a piano around here? Could we play for some tips? Because that's like a thing you can do. If not, maybe we can like put a piano down. You want to just... <laughs> um... Oh, I can only build over there. Oh, that's so sad. I can't just, like, put a piano down over here. No. <laughs> and we can't have, like, a, a keyboard, can we? I know there's a keyboard in the game, but you I don't think you can put it in your inventory. I wonder. Now he wants to order food from a market stall? Didn't you literally just do that, my dude? What can you do with 2,500 of these? I'm getting distracted myself here, but we have a lot of these. I'm going to get him independent because his social need is fucking always going down off the charts. So I want him to be independent. <laughs> and I think with that, we will go home right before... Vikram goes to work. Charles, would you like to leave? Is that what you are telling me? Go ahead. Okay. 
forgot that we were in San Maishuno. City Living was a good pack, literally just for the world. <laughs> like, oh, we could travel with Sophia. It's still a Sunday. We could see about um, having him befriend her more. Maybe we can play piano for her. She just played guitar for us for a while. We met a girl in the city. We're bringing her back to the country. <laughs> this family doesn't feel very country. I'm not going to lie. A, a criminal mom and a cook slash DJ dad. <laughs> I don't know. That feels pretty modern to me. <laughs> Okay, well, first off, let's ask about her day. Ask about her career, even though she's a teenager. Um, <laughs> monkey around a little bit. And then we'll romance maybe a little bit. Ask if she's single. That'd be a good place to start, I think. Vikram, you actually shouldn't uh, keep grilling. Bianca's playing chess. Interesting. Interesting. And she's got to be mean to some people. Um, do you think she should be mean to everyone whose partners um, we're going to have them move out with? Like, she was mean to Martina, and then John moved out to go live with Martina. Um, should she also be rude to... Blake's girlfriend, and that's why Blake moves out <laughs> eventually. But, like, they're still close, because they, like, John still comes over, obviously. It's not, Bianca doesn't hate John. <laughs> that could be really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll wait. We'll have it, we'll have him, um, befriend What's her face? What is her name? Sophia Bjergsten. Bjergsten. <laughs> um, and then after a little bit, we'll have Bianca come be mean to her, and then she'll leave. <laughs> What's the toddler up to? Dancing. Dancing up a storm. That's fine, actually. You can dance twice, even. What's the child up to? <laughs> Dancing. Dancing up a storm. <laughs> you know what? You can also do it twice. What are you doing, Bianca? You were playing chess. That's correct. Do you even have the logic skill? Well, you do now, I guess. For now, um, do you want to come work on your video game, I guess? learn that she's a high school student. I should hope so. Considering she's a teenager. Oh, she did not like whatever we just said to her. Finishing the sim apartment? No worries. We've learned Sophia's single. Vikram's off to work. Cashew is attacking Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Classic Cashew. Classic Cashew. That one's hard to say if you're not paying attention. <laughs> um, I don't even think Vikram needs to work hard today to get a promotion, honestly. I feel like he is pretty much guaranteed one. But I think we'll have him work hard just in case. That carnival music. <laughs> oh, okay. Toddler's getting tired. That's fine. Toddler can go to bed. Danced herself out. We've all been there. You can come, um, practice typing. You can 
Yeah, invite your new girlfriend in. Uh. He's your duvet. Don't, may, maybe don't walk in the poop. Welcome to my house. Just step over that poop. Don't even worry about it. Um, ask to just be friends. No. No, we're going to flirt with this girl. Spread a nasty rumor. No. Propose a crazy scheme, I guess. A bold pickup line. Bianca's so close to finished with this game, but things keep interrupting her. <laughs> like, her bladder. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, come up to my room, and now I will play piano f with you, for you. Serenade. Sophia. Perfect. Oh my god, I've never even thought to use this seating. And then maybe we can karaoke together? Oh my god, sing duet? That would actually be really cute. Because Sophia was a, was a musician out in the city, if we just, like, became a musical couple together, I think. There's even a guitar for her. John is calling. Yeah, answer that call. Absolutely. Yeah, even stop stop doing what you're doing. Have a chatty family call. <laughs> Grilled cheese, am I right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. Me as, also as well as. Is she not? Is she grabbing food from my fridge? I'm trying to serenade you. Excuse you. <laughs> is she grabbing grilled cheese from my fridge? What is this? Put that back. <laughs> I'm playing this lovely serenade and she's not even here. Level 9 motor skills. That's actually pretty good. It's 5.06pm. Maybe we should have him um, come observe uh, the sky for a little bit. While it's actually like okay out. She's texting while we're serenading her. <sighs> Rude. Yeah. Honestly. Uh -huh. Flirt with her while you serenade her. <laughs> also, girl, why aren't you sitting on this mile-long couch that we have? Wait. Where's Bianca? Oh, who's calling Vikram? Alexia. Absolutely ask Will out, or Isaias. Have somebody in your life, that's fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> Un unannounced, Bianca has just kind of burst into the room, so I guess now is when we have her be mean. <laughs> also, they're wearing the exact same sweater, so this is the perfect chance to, first of all, rude introduction. We're gonna have um, Blake just kind of fuck off. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I'm not touching this one. <laughs> um, he wants to order a pizza. You know what? Let's have him come order a pizza. We've never done that. A nice pepperoni pizza. And then Bianca is going to do what she does best. 
she's gonna be mean as hell. <laughs> Hi, yes, can I have a pizza? Meanwhile, your mom's like, listen here, you little bitch. <laughs> I wear this sweatshirt around this house, not you. You best learn. Uh, intimidate her, of course. Strong start. Scare her, maybe, a little bit, even. Pickpocket her. No worries, Roy. I appreciate you hanging. Get some good sleep. Thanks for spending your time here. Your evening here. <laughs> um, I'm going to threaten her, of course. I am part of a mob, I think. I don't know what the crime is in The Sims, really, but I imagine that it's the mob. We're going to... We're going <laughs> to... We're going to mock her outfit. <laughs> We're gonna mock her outfit. To be fair, she does have a ridiculous amount of blush on. Like, I'm no makeup expert or anything, but that's like a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> um. So yeah, we're gonna be mean to her. Blake... He's gonna go play the computer outside. Yeah, that makes sense. Go do your thing. Practice writing. Don't don't write actually though. Blake, what do you want to do on a on a computer? Open notebook. What can you research? Research the piano. On the computer? What a nerd. It is. Like that, it's excessive, is what it is. <laughs> so now we're threatening her. We're being mean. Oh, she did not get scared, though. For someone who's, like, mean for a living... I feel like Bianca does not perform mean interactions successfully very often. <laughs> What's Jasper doing? He's observing the sky. Oh my god, the little stool he uses <laughs> to see. That's too cute. And what skill is that working on again? Mental, right. Okay. That's fine. And you're done researching the piano. In that case, would you like to play a concerto? She was like, I should get going. <laughs> Hold on. Bianca's not... Oh, no. Bianca's done being mean to you. Okay. Well... Off to chat with myself while I make a video game, then. You know how it is. This is a really nice concerto. This feels like a Studio Ghibli song. I'm digging it. We're staying here for the whole thing. That was beautiful. And it's dark outside, so I think I want to finally come f fix his fear of the dark. He seems to still have for some reason. Jasper, you can come get dinner. That's fine. You're allowed to eat in this house. Hey, Olive Branch, how you doing this afternoon? Welcome on in. 
We're just doing boring, need no keeping stuff right I now, really. Nothing exciting happening right now. Although, um, we did just get Blake a girlfriend, kind of. They're not official, but, uh, you know, they're they're doing things. Oh, you know what? No, you, I did need you to go there, because you need to go outside. But you know what? Outside is closer right here. Stop being afraid of the dark. Oh, also, yeah, get the pizza oh. <laughs> that I forgot that I ordered <laughs> in the middle of my mom yelling at my new girlfriend. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank God. Now he's no longer scared of the dark, too. Successful. Successful evening. New girlfriend, pizza, no longer afraid of the dark. I'd say win, win, win. <laughs> Didn't sleep the greatest. I'm sorry to hear. It's been like that for, for most of this week for me, too, so I feel ya. I actually got to sleep well this morning. Um, but I gotta get new sheets from my bed. Because even, even well for me these days, I'm fighting with my bed sheets. Because they're, they're big enough to cover my bed. But they're just big enough to cover three corners perfectly. And the last one is just off. Um, because I don't think... It's for the right size of mattress. I don't think they expected my mattress to be as wide as it is. Um, so it doesn't quite fit, and it's always coming off in, in the middle of my sleeping and, like, scrunching back up. So I wake up every morning, like, crowded in by the corners of the cover. <laughs> so I gotta get new sheets at some point, but that's my own battle that I've been, I've been fighting. It is kind of the worst. Um, and it's... You know, it's entirely my own fault for, for still struggling with it instead of just getting new sheets, but <laughs> it is a struggle. <laughs> I'll get there, you know. You can you can have a slice and then before you go to bed, you know. Bianca, you can come take a slice. Jasper's already eaten something else or else I'd let him have one too pizza party you know jasper is always cleaning up his own dishes and i appreciate that about him put the pizza in the fridge Sula. Uh, Please. gross Spark -ish. Family pizza party. 9-12, so everyone's kind of getting kind of tired, but we can have them hang out for a little bit. Talk about school. Inside joke, because they're jokesters. They have a jokey dynamic. I don't remember that much. I feel like joke Jokes run in the family, really. It seems like I think a lot of them have a jokey relationship. Pretend to be slapped? Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Tell a joke about your family heritage. Oops. It's almost <laughs> we do all have the same family. <laughs> Level 2 comedy. Oh, and he's off to bed. What a good kid! We've been hating on Jasper all this time. He's fantastic. <laughs> He's taking care of himself. Okay, Bianca. I think you've chatted with your son enough for the night. He has got to go to the bathroom and go to bed. You've got to do laundry. And fill the pet dish. <laughs> We've been hated. <laughs> Listen, you said you didn't like Jasper either. You, I said, I, I quote from, I think last night, Jasper is the worst. <laughs> so yes, we've been hating on him. 
maybe it's we just don't know enough about him loves outdoors is not a great first um like thing to know you know <laughs> i mean it's great it's a wonderful quirk raul had it and it makes sense that it passed down but like it's not a great first one <laughs> I don't enjoy that. He's a glutton and self-assured. I didn't even remember that about him. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Honestly, it sounds like we should be hate Blake. Bianca's going to go dance. No, you can keep working on your, on your, um, video game. And then I'm going to let Charles in because I've heard him scratching at the door. Charles. I guess not. I'm hearing things. Pima? Blashu? Organart? Does Miko surrender? She doesn't work for a, l a while, yeah. What are you still doing awake? Oh, you just haven't made it to bed yet. <laughs> With this mile-long house that we have. I actually really do enjoy Blake's room. Nakadora run, yeah, honestly. Is that what you guys call it in the UK? <laughs> That's funny. I know that the like different areas have different names for it. Um, here, I would call that Ding Dong Ditch. <laughs> <laughs> even even without a, a doorbell. That's that's just what it's called. <laughs> we have a different one, yeah. It's Ding Dong Ditch, or um, I feel like there's another one, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. <laughs> Knock a door run is really good. Honestly, I do love that. <laughs> See, these are the discussions. Ooh, he got promoted. These are the discussions that you need to have with, with to be fully cultured. You know, you need to know um, all the little intricacies <laughs> of the English language. We got a pot rack, a ceiling mounted pot rack, and a ceiling pot rack oval. So we got a lot of pot racks. <laughs> And now he works from 12 to noon? That's not bad at all. Making $104 an hour as a pastry chef? Okay, I think... I think Vikram has the dream job now. That sounds fantastic. I'm being trolled by Charles, I know. And he stole a potato. Good. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to keep killing keep stealing fruits and vegetables now that he's a pastry chef and not like a caterer because <laughs> this is the second potato he's stolen now i think yeah we have a nice little pile of vegetables <laughs> and fruits we got some books and all the other thing various things he's stolen but <laughs> god i love having a kleptomaniac literally so fun Oh, you know what? I think we also stole something else one of the last times that I was out and about. Well, we also got these pot racks. Let's check these out. We already have one all the way up there. This is just impossible to reach. Um, and we can't put it, like, anywhere else in the kitchen. I think we can probably just sell these. Unless, maybe we can put them over here. We got these extra pots and pans. Right, we stole the gnome. I forgot about that. These are so high up because of our ceilings. <laughs> and that one's so low down. I don't like it. Hold on a minute. Let's... Put this one here for a sec. Move this one over. 
so it's behind the slats. And then we put this one there. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I think we get rid of them. Not worth the trouble. I had to be careful there. Thank you, move objects, the best cheat in the world. Our little gnome. <laughs> Our secret little gnome. <laughs> Honestly, this statue is supposed to be down there as well, um, because we did steal it. It was a prime steal of ours. Um, this was no longer banished to the Shadow Realm, though. I am done being angry with it because it doesn't fit the decor. Um, and I'm just going to put it on a shelf where it's not going to get um, knocked off all the time. It's just going to go right there. And we're going to leave build mode before I spend the whole day in build mode. Because that's a real possibility. He wants to have fun and um, cook a gourmet meal, and he's hungry, so I think we can do all of that all at once. Make a caprice salad, which sounds pretty delicious right now, I will not lie. What are you doing? Don't play with your sister's toys. Go take a shower and go to bed. It's midnight. It's midnight on a Sunday. You have school in the morning. Go to bed. Imagine getting home from being like a chef all day and then coming home and cooking a gourmet dinner for yourself. I couldn't. <laughs> There's no way. Hibiki? Hibiki. Eh, Hibiki te nanda te. Nanda ke da sho? <laughs> I think about that every once in a while that I could just like now that I sort of do speak two languages enough that I can make sentences I can just switch into Japanese whenever I want and have nobody understand what I'm saying but still be saying words <laughs> anyone who's bilingual can do that at any time and just confuse everybody around them for no reason and then we just all choose not to because obviously social convention um <laughs> but I, I do think about that every once in a while that that just is a possibility for bilingual people <laughs> I think everybody's understanding me a little too much right now. I think I need to switch languages. <laughs> it's a name you like? I think it's also a word, though. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Now I need to know. Not Spanish. Not Spanish. Um, I don't know if it'll work if I type it like this. Don't translate from English. No, no don't make me have to turn on my Japanese keyboard. <laughs> not the Japanese keyboard. Echo. I think that's what I was thinking. I knew it meant, like, some sort of sound. I, I was thinking, like, a chirp of a bird, though, or something like that. Um... But I guess not. You want to learn Japanese and Korean? Japanese is tough. I don't know any much about Korean. Um, but Japanese is really rewarding to understand once you do start understanding it. 
like watching watching anime sometimes i can i can look away and still like have a little bit of a grasp on what's going on you know while not listening to it in english of course because that is always a possibility if you just turn on you know the dub but <laughs> i'm not a dub guy i like my subtitles Okay, so you take a shower when you're done playing DJ Beats. You're so close to completing this video game. I think we're going to fast forward for a little bit, honestly. It's been a while since we fast forward. It's also whiskey. What? Japanese is whiskey? What do you mean? <laughs> I want her to finish this video game before she goes to bed. And I think sending Vikram to bed will help that out. So she can be the only one in the house awake. Oh, Hibiki is a type of whiskey. Oh, I wouldn't know. you've learned some without realizing it sometimes i i have imposter syndrome because i'll i'll think like what if this is just like japanese that everybody will understand though you know um and then i'll actually be able to like make a whole sentence of my own um and i'm like never mind but <laughs> but i do have a moment where i'm just like what if this is just japanese that everybody understands because <laughs> there is there's a small amount that burned out Oh. Okay, well, we'll take it easy on him now that he's on the final level of, um, yeah, we'll take a break <laughs> so that he can, he can chill for a moment of his adult life. You know what? I think he could take a vacation even. When he wakes up, we'll have him um, take a vacation day. And then he'll have a nice two days off that he can spend just chilling. <laughs> okay, I actually don't bathe the dog right now. Toddlers hungry, don't watch your mom. Instead, eat some food. Small amount that you understand from watching anime, yeah. Anime Japanese is very different from regular Japanese, though. Um, not in a, like, if you understand anime Japanese, you don't understand regular Japanese, but, like, it is, like, different from how Japanese people talk. Um, because a lot of the times they don't take into account the levels of, like, formality and shit um, that come into play when you speak to another person in Japanese. Um, <laughs> like, how polite you would be or um, just, like, things you wouldn't say to a stranger and stuff. <laughs> You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't just like walk up to a stranger and be like, shit. <laughs> you wouldn't tell them just die, you know? <laughs> Jasper's birthday party today. That's right. Vikram, once you're like fully rested. I'm going to have you cook a cake for that. Bianca's going to have some dinner real quick and then go to bed. 
video game completed, The Sims 5. Bianca might, yeah. She might. Don't praise the dog, you don't have time for that, go to sleep. <laughs> oh, and she is... Just kind of vibing. You want to go potty? Take care of that need preemptively. And then you can come babble a little bit. Do a little babbling. Get some food. And then go to bed. I gotta start doing more of her, her like, these things, because I want her to get the, the never tired one. But that takes 10,000, and we're so close. Okay, so finish eating then, if you're so uncomfortable. And then, now you've, you've taken so long eating that you also have to pee before you go to bed. Hey there, Ezza. How's it going? Welcome back in. How you doing this morning, this afternoon? I'm doing lovely. I've had a nice, like, chill morning so far. And we've had nothing nothing big in The Sims, which is sometimes nice. With this many Sims in the house, it is nice to have an uneventful morning. <laughs> How about you? How's your afternoon? It is almost Melody's birthday as well. Rebate day. Do we need it to buy anything recently, actually? I don't think we need to. I'm glad to hear. A great afternoon. He's gonna have some pizza for breakfast. Very teenage-like. You should wake up as well, child. And then go to the bathroom. And then, you know what? You can finish off the thing that Bianca did not. <laughs> Which would be gross in real life, but it's fine in The Sims. <laughs> Fasting all day, so you're about to eat shortly. Nice, nice. For, um, it's Ramadan right now, right? I think I, I, think I very vaguely remember seeing some, some Ramadan posts. But I don't actually... Okay, it is. Good, good, good. I'm not, I'm not completely clueless. <laughs> had pizza for breakfast today. I'm kind of jealous. I have, first of all, yet to have breakfast. Um, and second of all, would love pancakes. <laughs> oh, pizza. I, well, I would love either pancakes or pizza. I said pancakes because there is pancakes on, on the town. That I guess she is having um, and not Jasper. Jasper, you can grab something from the fridge. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Toddler was rude as heck. Sitting at your door waiting to leave to go to the library. Oh. I haven't actually borrowed books from the library in a really long time. I really should. I'm not much of a reader these days, honestly, though. Although this minute morning I did briefly consider rereading the Twilight series. Um, ADHD is fucked. I cannot believe that I deal with it <laughs> unmedicated. <laughs> you should wake up. Why are you tense? Because you're burned out. Okay, well, that makes sense. I am kind of with you on that one. 
I am burnt out after this weekend as well. Give Melody a bath. Taking a vacation day. Yes, I think we are going to at some point, because Panda also suggested that we could do one on, um, on Discord at some point, and that sounds lovely. Oh, I'm sorry to hear Cozy. I'm glad you finished, though. That can be nice. I thought about, um, first of all, uh, what I can do to build the next time I'm in a building mood, which I think is coming up. I'm feeling sort of buildy lately. Um, is we can build an apartment for Cadence and then move Cadence out when she's a young adult so that she can also have, um, neighborhood stories on, you know? <laughs> a lot smaller. Yeah, I'm excited to build something small next time, though. You, <laughs> I've had too much space for too long. I don't want to do anything big anymore, ever again. <laughs> You're going to school. Oh, you know what? Jasper shouldn't go to school. He's gonna go to. He's gonna be a teenager today, and I don't think he he might miss his birthday if he goes to school. Hold on, don't go to school. Stay home from school. And you know what? You can sit here for a minute, just so I don't have to deal with you. Because Vikram is going to bathe the toddler and then bake you a cake. Send the pics in anyway. Let me see them. I like the colors. I like that little computer nook, honestly. I do agree. I think I liked your, your last one a little better, but I like this one a lot. The little tree decals and everything. That's super cute. The bed up on like a little platform loft thing. That's so good, Cozy. Keep trying to make a Japanese house. Yeah, sometimes the styles are a little different. The pastel pop kit I see coming through. <laughs> That's really cute, Cozy. I like it. something just feels off sometimes you just don't like it you know it's it's like this house where it's like i it, you know it's done i enjoy it i guess but i just don't i'm not uh, you know <laughs> something's wrong <laughs> can't quite figure out what oh your hygiene is done yeah so stop then come bake a cake because we can't have jasper age up without a birthday I also love building SO. Um, I'm excited to build a house next because um, I have a lot of house ideas that are like bubbling under my, <laughs> under the brain. CC in your builds. I've yet to de delve into uh, CC because I've been having so much fun with base game. Um, but I'm sure I will someday just for furniture. I'm furniture hungry. <laughs> for a uni student. Oh. Usually very neutral, yeah. I feel like I go bright colors a lot. Like I try to, I try to pick a color for a build and then use it literally everywhere in the room. <laughs> That's just how I build. It's the only thing I know. Um, you now that you're not doing this, you wanna come babble to get your? Oh, you can't. You're babbled out. Do you want to be an iPad kid for a little bit? Fresh out the shower. Gonna watch some iPad videos. <laughs> You're feeling playful. Um, you should come play in the playhouse, maybe? Play Island Castaway for a minute. Gonna go back to the modern eco house. I want to do a house with like a, a roof garden because I watched Little Simsy do one and I think that's really fun. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of build videos lately. Um, 
because I want both ideas and um, Sims content. <laughs> Vikram, I'm so sorry you're burned out. I entirely did this to him <clears throat> because um, I made him work so hard to get the promotions over and over again. <laughs> it's my fault that he's so burnt out. I need him to make the birthday cake, though, because he is the chef in the house. Uh oh, principal's calling. Answer it, okay. <laughs> Just kidding, we X that out. Cause he's aging up. He it doesn't matter that he's late for school. Communication level three, heck yeah. Oh, she's just like she sat up against the wall in the bathroom. <laughs> Gross. Vikram, put birthday cake candles. Jasper, come become a teen. Oh wow, we made a lot of money for the second video game today. This might be another ding dong ditch, but I think I hear Charles knocking again. Hello. What is up, Charlie man? Handsome kitty man. He just wants dinner or breakfast. I keep forgetting what time of the day it is. <laughs> that's not that's not just today, but that is a regular thing that happens for me. 10 o'clock in the morning, I'll be at work and I'll tell somebody, have a good evening. Like, <laughs> I don't know what my brain does ever. Not useful things most of the time. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jasper. I'm going to put that right in the fridge so no one can take a slice. We randomized them traits. He's materialistic. You know what? That's kind of cute, because Vikram is materialistic, and Raul loved outdoors, so Jasper is really like a heritage sim. Like, he's only inheriting the traits that we've had before. <laughs> um, and that also makes sense, because he spent a lot of time in the treehouse, so loves outdoors and materialistic, like he wants to have the best treehouse. <laughs> um... Leader of the pack, maybe? I don't know. Location. City native. Ah, hold on one sec. Let me let me choose his his aspiration and then I can add you. Hello Charles. Um, we know nothing about Jasper. I have no clue what to do with him. Maybe, you know, I did kind of want him to be um, a computer whiz, but that doesn't make sense if he, like, loves the outdoors. Maybe he can be an athlete. A bodybuilder. Charles, that is my toe. He just, like, scratched my toe. <laughs> I know, multiplayer sims, we talk about that a lot here. It would be really fun to play multiplayer. I think they might try to include that in Sims 5, because I feel like people have asked them about that so often. That at this point, if they like put out Sims 5 and they were like, no, we didn't even consider multiplayer. Like, <laughs> I think there would be some outrage. Hello, Charles. Can you sit down, please? I love you, but... You need to oh, lay down. <laughs> He's so heavy when he stands on just like one arm with all of his weight. 
which is his favorite activity by far, I would say. <laughs> you are so silly, Mr. Charlie. Hello. I know. Okay. No. No. <laughs> He aged up with cat ears. We have we have a cat boy in the family. It's <laughs> not Jasper being a cat boy. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not me being a cat boy. <laughs> this is like what four streams in a row now. <laughs> Just a cat boy and his cat and his cat boy. <laughs> you said what you have for the eco house? Ah. Go back to the modern farmhouse. Let me go check the eco house. I love that. I feel like it would be tough to decorate. But I love it. I really want to do, when I do the cottage, I want to do like vines creaming creeping up the side of it and everything. I want it to be very overgrown on the outside. Um, so I like the idea of that in a modern build as well. <laughs> Not the cat boy. Okay, Jasper, what are your, what are your things? What do you want to do? Work out for a total of eight hours. Work out at a gym venue. Um, You know what? Maybe you and Vikram can go to the gym together. As a fun little birthday thing for you. Farmhouse girl through and through, yeah. There's just something about, like, a nice, like, homey feeling, like, cottagey space that's unmatched, unbeatable. Is there a gym in the city? I feel like there would be. There is. Sky Fitness. With Vikram. I don't think I could ever go to the gym, like, with my parents. I love them dearly. I don't think I could be at a gym with them, you know? But that's also, I don't like being at the gym with other people. I think that one's just me. <laughs> Don't like feeling uncomfortable with your builds. It's a tough feeling. Because there's times like it in, like I felt like this in Minecraft and um, sometimes uh, Stardew as well, where like I like the build well enough, but like there's something about it that I just don't like, and I have to sit with the fact that it's like it's me that made me not like it, you know? <laughs> it's not It's not that it's terrible or anything, but I just don't like it, and I'm the one who made it that way. <laughs> It's very silly. How do you even pronounce this name? Zottle? Zachel? Zachel? Oh. Sima Acharya? We got some very simlish names coming on here. Okay. Let's see what's upstairs at the gym. Oh, this is a really nice upstairs area. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Come come steal whatever this is. Absolutely. Not the catboy ears staying to his workout clothes, too. <laughs> That's so silly. Who are you? You're a young adult. Everyone's a young adult. No one's ever a teen. Alright, Vikram, come work out with your son. Now that we've stolen whatever it was that we stole. Oh, we stole the whole table! <laughs> We're going to have to steal a second one. Absolutely. When can I steal again? Two more hours, I think. 
We love to see it. <laughs> oh my god, not Vikram short shorts. <laughs> Family bonding. <laughs> and thews about cakes while <laughs> while on the treadmill. <laughs> Perfect timing. They do they do make him look a little sus. <laughs> He's experiencing burnout. I feel so bad. I like saw it coming because I knew that he had the like the moodlets where he was really stressed <laughs> about work, but still. Just a little nose kiss from Charles. He's been doing that more and more lately, where he'll just like look at me, touch noses with me really quickly, and then like look away. <laughs> I love it. He is the perfect cat. <laughs> um, I think it said that it, like we have to relax essentially. Consider stopping the grind and taking a break, and then he has this like burnt out moodlet that expires in seven hours. So I don't know. Oh, he dislikes fitness. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Vikram, you don't have to keep working out then. Would you like to case the joint? Just kind of spend some time upstairs. You know what? Come work on your mixology, I guess. Make drinks for everyone. A salty llama. Can't catch a break. I know. I was like, have some nice family time with your son doing the thing you absolutely fucking hate in your life. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> At least, um, Jasper's having a good time. It's his birthday. He's the one who has to have a good time. As as a dad, you sometimes have to do something you don't like on your kid's birthday, you know? <laughs> Vikram is a good dad when it comes down to it. Ooh, and he's an exemplary role model because we are, um, we are going to steal again. In just one sec. Mood lit gone, steal the table. It's nice to finally have some tables and stuff to put some, some of the so stolen stuff on so it's not just on the floor. Um, but I would have kept it on the floor. That's not a big deal to me. <laughs> so that was five total hours. Okay. Um, you want to take a shower? There's a downstairs to this gym, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, come take a shower. And Vikram, come critique this work. <laughs> Just because we got to go back at the same time, you know? I think I have room for the tables in the basement. I'm pretty sure. If we have to expand the basement, it's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Maybe we'll give it wallpaper and everything eventually. Why are you upstairs having a drink? Can't get to the showers. Oh, because they're all being in use. Take a shower in the girls' room, then. Nope, can't get there either. Okay, we're going home, then. 
We've done our due, due diligence of stealing and working out. We can go home. We have stolen tables to place, goddammit. We got a matching set for the first time. Although I guess we do have a matching set of potatoes, but I don't know if you really want to count that. <laughs> a stolen set of matching potatoes. Matching, not mashing, by the way. <laughs> potatoes meant for mashing. That didn't sound like a good noise. What just happened? Bills. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Bills are absolutely fine. That's, uh, compared to what my mind thought immediately, like, we're fine. <laughs> $14,000? Maybe not so fine. Oh my god. Locking his prized possessions away from him. Listen, he can have them back. It's, it's, I'm keeping them safe from the rest of the family is what I'm doing. Because everyone else would put them away and move them and get rid of them. We've got an obstructo coffee table now. We can put that in the corner. And then do the same over here. Plenty of space. <laughs> well, he better be a big earner. She, she's gonna have to be at this rate. I think, honestly, I might even... Yeah, we can we can put some of these books on here now. Look at that. We have, we have places to put our stolen objects. Our children's homework that we stole from some poor kid. <laughs> I know. Except the homework, I guess. But stolen from make a dish. Make a dish. Oh. I guess maybe some of this we didn't steal. But we did steal a lot of this. <laughs> does it even tell you for these? It does. That's funny. Oh, it doesn't tell me for the pair photo. That is really funny, though. Our vegetables. And then our fruits. Oop, not the room. There we go. That's pretty nice. And then we'll have the gnome. Front and center. Perfect. <laughs> They tell you my band. That'd be really funny. <laughs> yeah, the last time you came here, we noticed that two of the tables were missing. Um, <laughs> you can't come back. <laughs> that would be really, really funny. I'm so sorry, Charles. Would you like to find a better way to sit? That is a good way. That is a perfect way. Okay, back to live mode. So much room for furniture adventure. I can't wait. To, I figured out how to how to um, steal bigger objects too. Is the thing um, <laughs> is we have to increase his mischief skill. So eventually we can steal TVs and stuff. We can furnish a whole basement if we really wanted to. Bianca's busy dancing, as she does, as she is prone to do. And you know what? I think it's time. 
we hack our work performance better. Jasper is stinky. He should go take a shower. And then we should probably go take a look at him and cast at some point soon. Toddler is tired. Toddler should go to bed. Go to one of the art galleries. Yeah, I get some expensive stuff. Really furnish our basement off nicely. <laughs> Before, I thought I had to go to targeted lots to be able to steal anything at all, but now that I know that it's based on the mischief skill, we just need to get his mischief up before we go places. It's only level 4, so admittedly it is not the highest. rude of you to use the the trash can that i was about to use five seconds before i'm about to use it but cool appreciate that you cleaned the toilet for me he's fatigued oh from working out that makes sense um so he's materialistic and loves the outdoors we gotta get him something to like work out i guess so back to build mode we need some sort of, like, workout gear for him. Probably up in his room. Which, actually, he is a teen now, so does need to change anyway, because he has a lot of children's stuff. Um, so let's give him a proper, a proper bedroom. A double bed, even, maybe. Maybe the varnish bed? I don't know. Jasper doesn't really have, like, a color. You know what? Let's look at him and cast first. Let's see what we can do about giving our cat boy a, a room that suits him. Experienced a fire at Bianca's house. That is true. That is something he did do. Okay, Charles, I'm so sorry. I want my lap back. I want to be able to move my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kind of like his, like, style. Ooh. His, like, outfits and everything. His everyday isn't bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. He's got green and then he's got red. Can we change this to green, maybe? No, you know what? Ooh. Um, be not Bianca. Melody is gonna be green, so maybe we can change this to red. Oh, that's cute. That's better than what he had, I think. And then active wear, we can change. It's just a red T-shirt instead. I don't know why I'm choosing red for him now, but it makes sense. He already had the red shoes. See? It's perfect. <laughs> I didn't even think about the shoes for a lot of these outfits, frankly. I never do. Ooh. Shoes are like the one thing in an outfit that I'm just like, they don't matter. <laughs> we don't need to care about them ever. This is his party outfit? Um... Maybe maybe something a little better. Let's look at the styled looks. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Formal cat boy. <laughs> hmm. Imagine showing up to like a fancy like formal event with fucking cat ears on. <laughs> Yeah, it's 
Tim boy. Mm. Yabba. <laughs> no, I think we'll stick with this one. I think that looked the best. Charles, if I let you out, this is the last time I'm opening the door this stream. <laughs> Go. You silly kitty man. Okay. And you know what? While we're here... You know what? Melody's only going to be a toddler for one more day. Never mind. I was going to say, let's change some of her outfits to be all green and brown. But she's only going to be a toddler for another day. We'll wait on that. <laughs> and that will make... Jasper's room red and I guess having to do with being a cat I don't know <laughs> we'll do a little bit, a bit of building because I'm tired of taking care of needs and stuff I just want to build <laughs> we keep going back and forth between build mode and not simple living lot challenge I would never do that I have to, like, have the ingredients for what I'm cooking instead of just selecting a random one. Why? Why? <laughs> to make it harder for myself on The Sims? <laughs> I don't need it to be hard. Okay. A bedroom for Jasper. We can get rid of a lot of this stuff, honestly. I wonder, honestly, if this rug has a good red swatch. I don't think it does, though. No. These... don't either, really. That's like an orange. Mm, yeah, you know what? We'll redo the whole room while we're at it. May as well. We'll keep the desk, because that's fine. And the chess table, because that was Connor's. Yeah, I think someone someone downloaded um Kelly's house. And I was like, oh my god. Like, I can't believe someone would do that. <laughs> It's it's baffling. And if someone searched for for something they needed, and they found my thing, and they were like, "All right, that that works." <laughs> Wild. Got a nice red bed. I guess let's do wallpapers first if we're gonna have a nice red room. I don't like that. Electric sheepskin, maybe? Seeing spots? Maybe just striped. Striped with like a, um... A nice red on the other part of the wall. None of these are the correct red, though. And also, none of them have brown trim. <laughs> I just want r wallpaper that matches. <laughs> it does feel crazy. Just knowing that people are out there like searching for something and they found yours of all of the like of all of the things that are on the the Sims gallery at this point. Oh, you know what? I kind of like this wall. Let me, let me shift click, actually. Because that'll do the whole wall. Um, and it kind of matches the red of the bed, too, actually. Do these have a red swatch? Yes, but do I like it? No. Okay, starting from true scratch here. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> go to the university and everything. You got, can't force yourself to like it cozy, but play through it a little bit just in case. You never know. Oh, you know what? I guess the desk can be black now. Because it matches. It, we have like a red and black thing going on, sort of. That's the one I just had, I think. Mm. I guess I kind of like the ooze, but... Oh, you know what? No, if we're going to red bedroom, absolutely we're using this. Maybe we can go, like, a little more modern with it. Actually, this is red and black. That might work a little better. We'll get him a nice dresser. Um... This time, not a modular one, because I'm so sick of fixing all of the modular ones when they get broken. <laughs> and I think we'll go for a nice black dresser. Um, so that we're not all red all the time. I kind of like the idea of one that's like kind of like dingy like this even though it, it has not been handed down at all um <laughs> not in the slightest Is that one better if it's black? It does sort of suit the room a little better, I think. And then we'll have a nice mirror next to it over here. With maybe like a lamp. Um, over here next to... Less is more floor lamp. Next to the bed. Mm. I kind of don't like the lamp. Future Funk Dance Club sign. What teenager does not want that in the bedroom? A cornerstone lamp. You know what? This is actually pretty good. I like that. And then we'll see if we can fit like a plant over there as well. Definitely a plant here. What else are you, what else would you even put in that part of the room? <laughs> but I want like a small little plant over here. Actually, maybe like a hanging one. Just kidding. Can't hang things. I got ha I got tall walls. Maybe this like sized down and then like shoved right there. Um, let's see here. What else do we need? A rug. We did a nice, good, maybe a, like a black and red rug. Oof. I actually kind of like this rug. 
it feels like it kind of brings in maybe like a purple a little bit. Let me see if there's other swatches that work though. The black might be fine in this. I think the black works a little better. Yeah, because that's just a lot with the red. But with the black, it feels kind of muted, and that's nice. And you know what? No one has a fireplace in their room anymore. Um, so maybe, maybe Jasper can. Although, would you would you have a fireplace in an upstairs bedroom? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Realistically, um, you can have some bookshelves, though. Absolutely. Maybe even one of these like modular ones that just has like things or places to put stuff. Oh, there's not really a good swatch of that that includes, like, just black, though. I guess we have a brown swatch in this one over here, but I don't know if I want to keep that. Hmm. I feel like that looks kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a little bit. Maybe we can spice it up with some, like, some good um, clutter on it. But I don't know. We can keep the Lana, because he had that on his bedside table. You can have some men's body care essentials. Some more books, of course. Books on the bookshelf. I know I'm I'm really, really um, showing my true colors here. But it's where they belong. Maybe you can have some folded shirts just kind of chilling on the bookshelf. And some candles. What teenager doesn't have candles in their room? Candles on the top shelf of your bookshelf that your mom doesn't, isn't supposed to know about. <laughs> he can have a nice red backpack next to his desk over here. There's like nothing on his walls yet though. Maybe we should get some wall stuff. He can maybe have a hanging bookshelf above his, um... Oh wow, you can't choose the height of that at all, huh? That's annoying. Oh wait, no, you can. You pr Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can. Of course you can. Maybe if we had some of these. I wish they had this, but like flipped as well. like, facing the other direction, you know? Because having the exact same thing on it is kind of silly to me. But that's where this comes in, and we um, put on some other books 
to make it look a little different. Um, I wonder if we can do that here as well. If we like bring that forward. Charles is meowing outside. If we shove this in here, it kind of looks like a different bookshelf. It's got a little bit of a different clutter, you know? I'm learning things from watching the builds um, that I watch of people, like, putting the same item, but then, like, making it look different, you know? Um, and I think that this ties it in well because they both have the, the rabbit with it, <laughs> but they're in different spots. Um, no worries, Nico. I think we all just kind of need some time to, like, just do nothing this weekend, honestly. I appreciate you stopping in. I hope you are having a lovely afternoon, even if it is not spent with us. <laughs> um... Yeah, this week has just been a tough week. It's been a stupid one. I think for everybody. You're going to be, like, a sports person, aren't you? Um, I don't know if I can give you the soccer ball lamp, though. Why not, I guess? Why not? We'll make it pink. And then these have to move up by one, which is unfortunate. Because then I have to move these as well. But it's fine. I'll make this work. Perfect. You'd never even know. Yeah, no worries, Nico. I understand. I hope you have a lovely day out anyways. Try to at least. Um, I'm trying to figure out... What else we even need in this room? <laughs> a gaming console. He could have a TV up here, maybe. There's not, like, a whole lot of um, room for a big TV or anything. But maybe we could do like a nice little spot for one. I don't even know. If we did it under here, we gave him just like a small TV with a little bit of a couch around it. That's kind of a nice couch. Ah, oh, red and black. Perfect. The perfect place for it. And then is there a indulgence the chair? The solidarity? That's as close as we might get here. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I couldn't have asked for a better little seating area. And then we can put a little nut, I don't know, about a nutcracker, actually. I thought about that for a second, and I was like, no, I don't think we need that. <laughs> Maybe a nice dog or a cat or something. You know what, actually, he seems to like rabbits. We'll, we'll size down one of these, and we'll put one there. Maybe a nice little plant on the other side. Um, kind of have some wall decorations in here at some point, I feel like. I 
got them really big walls, but like nothing on them. Um, if we can find maybe a, whoa, those are really big. Never mind. Jeez. I was like, if we can find one that's nice, wait, maybe we can fit it down, but. Oh, there's not swatches on these? Interesting. We have to have family reunions to get these, the the photo frames. We'll have to we'll have to have some family reunions just to get see if we can get some at some point. Um, <clears throat> I guess we can have like a plant over in the corner here. Like a nice freestanding one, probably. A tree in a box on the second floor. Actually, that's kind of nice. I like that. Maybe with a lamp as well. Maybe that like crazy, that weird one. Where is it? It's like a tall standing one. Where? No, not that. Actually, this is kind of cute for chess, like a vintage reading lamp. I like that, actually. That's a cute little chess area. <laughs> um, and then we have a little bit of room to fill in over here with something for him. I don't think he really has any... You know what? No, we needed workout gear, which is the entire reason that we came out here in the first place. Um, <laughs> so let's find something for him to put in here workout-wise. The rack comes in red. Red and black. Perfect. You can put that right there in between the windows. And then we need something for over here as well. Maybe an actual bookshelf bookshelf, like one with books on it. <laughs> this is my one gripe with this bookshelf, is that I wish there was a black swatch. Because this is so nice. But it'd be nice if it were nicer if it was like fully black. Um, but dum but dum. It's kind of silly that there's not a clutter thing for this, you know? Like a thing that um, brings you to just clutter. Decorations is close. And then we have the clutter in this, I guess, but... I want a more specific clutter search. <laughs> he can have a box of stuff, I think. He just moved into this new room. He can have a box of stuff that he has yet to unpack or move or anything, you know? Um... 
Um, maybe a shelf with his clothes here. None of these really look like things he would wear, but that's fine. <sighs> hmm. A lot of these are not very bedroom stuff. That's fine, though. I think at this point we probably just need, like, a plant or two for the corner over here and, like, maybe over here. And this this room will be pretty done. Maybe some clutter for on top of here as well. It looks pretty nice, honestly. I, I really like this room. I think it came together nicely. Um, I think we'll go with a classic little potted palm in the corner, just because they really look nice in, like, a corner of a room. There's something about them. Uh, we should probably have, like, a... one of the, like, big flower things here. Maybe if there's a nice swatch of this, but I don't... Mm, I don't really like the pink flowers on it for this room. Actually, doesn't this have a swatch with, like, yeah, red leaves? Red and black, even. Perfect, actually. I hear you, Charles, but I don't want to let you in right now is the thing. And that is pretty done, I would say. Maybe maybe some stuff around here real quick. A little bit of clutter. Make it look like a teenager's room, you know? A recently a teenager's room. <laughs> some food stains underneath the bed, because why not? <laughs> Some casual kicks by the, sh by the um, mirror, because that's where you keep shoes, right? The sneaks, I guess, would be more, more accurate. Um picture of our best friend. Maybe some pens and paper. You should never know. Actually, that can go on the desk over here for like homework and stuff. Pile of laundry, of course, at the end of the bed. Because that's how I am. And we'll get a third one of the other color. Downloading clutter content. No, cozy, going to the dark side. <laughs> no, it's all right. Custom content is not bad. I'm just trying to avoid it for right now because I like... I like saying base game. I don't know what it is. I'm the same way with Stardew and I'm the same way with Minecraft that, like, I've done mods. It's not that I don't like them. I just don't like doing that. I don't know. <laughs> Something in me says, nah, keep a base game. <laughs> I guess everyone would really be there. 
yeah, that's more realistic. This guy liked bunnies. We have him on all the bookshelves, so we can put a bunny statue as well. Mm, we can have some books. He's got some bookshelves that he can probably, you know, have some books from. Um, some more candles because he is a teenager and I just feel like teens love candles. Lots of free super cute stuff. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll have to look into some clutter content. Just for the clutter. Nothing else, just clutter. <laughs> um, we can have an, a nice spare watch or something. Although it doesn't really like to slot into places that make sense. Here we go. Ghibli Cutter. Ah, oh, that sounds amazing. Ghibli movies always have the best sort of like background and insane detail included in them. It's a little ridiculous. I wish. I wish I lived in a Ghibli movie. And you know what? He had this in his childhood bedroom. So as an homage to to the childhood bedroom, I think we're going to put that on the top shelf as well. And that is a pretty well done room, I would say. It's kind of big. It's a big bedroom, but it's nice. I, I would live in this bedroom, I think. Which I haven't said since I made Bianca's bedroom. <laughs> but I think we can um, probably get out of build mode now. And go back to... Oh, you know what? I didn't even include any, like, cat boy things for him. And I also still have never put anything on this patio. It's fine. It's it's all good. We don't need it. <laughs> this house is too big. I can't decorate everywhere. Um, I do think, though, on on that note, on that building note... Um, I might call this one here, so I can go have, like, breakfast slash lunch slash any food at all yet today. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I will probably come back for a earlier than 6, a 6 p.m. evening stream as well tonight, because I'm not going anywhere today. I'm not leaving my house or anything. Um, but I think I need a break from talking, a break um, from paying a, so deeply attention to things, and uh, definitely a food break. So I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to wait for it to finish uh, saving everything up and all that. Bam. Boom. Bop. <laughs> You'll have descended down the, the custom content rabbit hole by later on. Good, good. I can't wait to see what you have. Happy Saturday, Cornelius. You're coming in towards the end here, but I hope you're having a lovely, lovely weekend. Um... Unless you've been lurking for the whole time, in which case I hope you've had been having a stellar weekend. <laughs> um, no problem, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. Thank you for chatting. Um, like I said, I'll probably be back before 6 for a second one today. Maybe we'll do um, some apartment decorating or something. I don't know. I'm feeling in a decorating mood today. I don't want to play The Sims. That's a little stressful after the week that I've had of stress. You know, I want to build. <laughs> maybe we'll do a shell challenge later or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll we'll venture out into the, the further world of The Sims. But for now, I'm going to go have lunch. 
thank you for hanging. Thank you for chatting. I'll keep y'all updated on when I'll stream again. And uh, till the next time, guys.